Hello, everybody, and welcome to our webinar. My name is Vladimir, and together with my colleague Alex, we will discuss today a very important application for quick field simulations for high voltage engineering. I will briefly outline which quick field features are suitable for this application and why quick field is a tool of choice for many electrical engineers who design the high voltage equipment. High voltage is a vague term. Uh, which covers wide range of electrical engineering equipment with voltages high enough to be dangerous, involving risks of electric shock, electrical discharge, or insulation breakdown. From this point of view, even hundreds of volts may be dangerous, but usually high voltage engineering deals with much higher voltages, tens and even hundreds of thousand volts. High voltage equipment includes AC, DC, and pulse generators, transformers, insulators, switches, and etc. 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 To decrease the risk of electric shock and failure of equipment, electrical engineering process includes careful analysis of electronic field distributions. And today it is often related to field simulations with finite elements. At this slide we see types of analysis offered by quick field. Many of these formulations may be required for high voltage engineering simulations. Electrostatic analysis may help to estimate electric stresses and risks of electrical breakdown of the insulation at DC or slow varying voltages. For AC voltages, electric field distribution may be analyzed using AC conduction model. And if there is a pulse power, then transient electric and transit magnetic models allow defining the arbitrary waveforms and analyzing how to the voltages and electric stresses vary in time. High voltage equipment, as any other type of electromagnetic devices, often requires more than one type of analysis. Pulse transformers working under high voltage and having large current loads may not only be under the risk of electrical breakdown of the insulation, which requires electrostatic analysis, but also currents may cause overheating of some parts, deterioration of the insulation, and thus failure caused by the thermal instability. So, in addition to electromagnetic analysis, heat transfer simulations may be required. Also, high voltages and currents may cause large mechanical stresses, so the structural integrity should also be analyzed. This causes the demand of multi-physics analysis, and Kirkfield offers such possibility. This slide shows the combined analysis where the same geometry uh, involves several different physical setups and results of one simulation may be included into other simulation. As I shown on previous slides, quick field has much to offer, but if the job requires more, then it is available by quick field user interface controls, additional functions and algorithms based on finite elements may be implemented using the open object interface to quick field. This may this way, you may combine quick field models with scripts written in Visual Basic as a part of Excel documents or MATLAB models or programs written in the any modern programming language. This application programming interface or technology of accessing quick field core functions and data structures from other Windows applications is called ActiField. Some of such additional tools implemented as standalone utilities are offered for free on our website. They include the source codes and may be used as ready tools or as templates for developing your own scripts and programs. But most important feature of QuickField, which makes it stand out from any finite element analysis competitor, QuickField is extremely easy to use. You may start using it within a couple of hours without reading thick manuals, just spend some time in our virtual classroom, which is part of help system on your quick field installation or uh, found on our website. And then walk through a couple of examples with model files and video presentations. After this, you will be able to start working your own models. It's really easy. Now let's see how Alex is dealing with high voltage engineering simulations in his live presentations. 
today we will review several cases which are typical for high voltage applications. The first case is a needle to plate. The plate is grounded and the needle is at high voltage potential. We will estimate the electric field stress distribution in this case. The second case is bushing. The high voltage conductor is passing through the grounded metal wall and insulated by the bushing. We will optimize the bushing design. Well, those would be two dimensional electrostatic problem. Not all problems could be simulated as two dimensional, so the Next case is the three-dimensional case, the supporting insulator, which supports the high voltage conductor above the grounded plate. And another typical case are two bus bars separated by the air. Again, we will calculate the electric field stress distribution. Well, another another case which is which you can often meet with high voltage application is when some high voltage pulse is applied to your device. Either it is some failure or switching pulse, or maybe surge pulse, or it's just a testing condition. And it is possible to simulate trains into electric problems with quick field and we will review the case of the solid solid state search arrester.